this tutorial in Blender, um, I'm going to go over how I'm going to use a color palette to texture my meshes. Kind of like this one here is textured and the colors are coming from a color palette. So basically what I just had to do is select a face and then here you can see they are coming up in the picture. I'm going to grab them and drag them into an area of the color I want them to be. And then you can see the color changed over here. So I could keep using this same material over and over again in many meshes. And if I had a game where I wanted to just have one, you know, um, material to use throughout all the objects and, you know, save space and memory and speed, I could do it like this in Blender. So how did I do this? Well, let me start off first by saying how I kind of got a color palette. There's a couple of different ways. It's basically just an image where you have a bunch of, um, you know, colors on it. So I could either do it like this. The, this is the way I actually got this palette is I just went on, you know, the internet and I searched for something like an eight color palette. And when I do the search, the results come back and I kind of have palettes here that I could use this one would suit just fine or um you know any of these anything where it just has all this is actually the one i used right here and that's one way and then if i had something more specific like a scene where i know what the colors i want to be are i could just use you know microsoft's paint for your goodness sake i could just use that and here's like paint and to make the palette i could just um pick a brush and here is the outline color and the inner fill color then I kind of would use like something um, like here the square and say I just want to make like one two three four nine colors here like just kind of think of it divvying up and I could have one brick there that could be oops not that I want to change the inside color Oh, I guess I had to put it to fill with a solid color. There you go. I can make this one red. And then I could um, make the next one orange. And I'm just using my eye. It doesn't have to be exact. And then I click in the empty space. I could make the next one yellow. So I could kind of have three colors per row. And just keep going like that to... Um, you know, make a row of six colors and save it. So anyway, that's how I can get a color palette. Then in Blender, let's start over from scratch here. So I'll say a new project. And here I have the cube. So I don't need the camera and the light. So let me get rid of those. Goodbye. And now let me take this cube and select it. Uh, go to edit mode. Um, let me just turn on screencast keys. There you go. That's, you know, to be nice. All right. So I have the selected. I could, um, I kind of took mine. I stretched it out on the X and I stretched it out pressing S on the Y, you know, to make some kind of tabletop. That's what I did. And then I just did some loop cuts in it. So I could have more faces to show the colors with, you know, and oh, I also did loop cuts on this angle too. Bam, bam. All right. So I did that. Then I went to face mode and I just, let me go back to this. Then I selected a couple of faces here, you know, just to be decorative. Um, and I just did an inset faces to give some more dimension to it there. So now I, I have a bunch of faces here that I could color different colors and different faces. Um, so now what I have to do is set a material for this. So let me go to this little button over here that looks like a ball. And here it has a thing where it you know, it states it's material. And what did I do? Let's see, I could preview what the material looks like right now, which is white, and that's what we see on it. And then is it over here that I was able to pick for the color instead of it just being white? I was gonna pick um, an image 
to be rendered on it instead. And I'll have to change my, see how this is like a ball with material. I'll have to change it to pick this renderer so I can see the actual color that's on there. Now I could open up the um, texture that I want to use. So I'm going to open up the one that I had on my desktop, which is this palette. And I'll say open, and now it's rendering the palette on there. You know, it's just that it's just this is the way the texture looks, and it's kind of just rendering all over it. I, it doesn't pick any faces yet. So now I'm gonna um, let me open up a UV editor window. So I could split my windows. This is one window, and if I go down at a corner here, the icon changes like this to a plus. And I could drag out a copy of the same window. But now on this window, I'm going to set it to view um, something else, which I do it from here. I want this window to be a UV editor window. Okay, so now I could see my UV texture thing. And let me just expand out the toolbar. All right, so this is what's on here. Um, now in this window, I'm in face mode. If I select A for all the faces, you can see that this is the texture map that's currently right there, the UV map. But I'm just going to change that a little bit. So I'm going to use the light map pack. So say OK. And now, you know, I got basically squares for everything. And actually this changed too. But um, yeah, to do that, remember first I was in edit mode. I selected everything with A and then UV light map pack. There's also smart project. Let's see how that one looks. That one looks like that. I mean, whichever one I wanted. So now I, I have like these things mapped out. I'm going to go back to the light map pack one. But it, it kind of like takes up more of the real estate there. All right, so now if I wanted to color these things in here, um, I'm in face mode and I could just select certain faces that I want if I want them to be a certain color. So let me just select all the faces that I want to be one color. And then over here, you see, I could see the faces picked out in the UV. I'll just select them all by dragging my mouse over them. And then I'll press S to scale them down so that they'd fit into like one block. And now I could use the move key to move it to whatever color, yellow, gray, green. So say I leave it as green. Now you can see all those faces that I had chosen, they became, they're in the green. They're using the green from the UV mapping. Now I could select the insides of these guys, and I could just kind of continue on to, you know, texture up this um, mesh. All right, so here they're kind of all over the place. So let's say that I'm going to use the inside color to be brown. You know, I could shrink or whatever. The main thing is that I get those... Um, UV map coordinates in the color brown so that bam they all come out brown you know and let's see what else we got let's do the side corners here one two 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 that's all these guys so let me scale them down. I'll just press S. I have to first go to this window, press S. No, I have to select them first and press S. Scale them down so they fit in a cube. And then let's move them over to the color I want them to be. And I'm gonna have them be um, the dark green, okay? And now on the other side, let me just pick these. Bam, bam, I'm holding down the shift key when I select multiples. Holding down the shift key to select multiple faces. And that's what they are. Highlight and then S to make them fit like in a square. And what color should I make them? Brown. And let's see. So, you know, I kind of start texturing out stuff like that. So this method here, I used it on this one mesh and I could save it. It's using this one material. Then, you know, I would just have to use the same um, picture for all the meshes and I could have a bunch of different meshes. They all use the same color. What do you think? Is this a good tutorial or what? Hasta la pasta.